Dad. Little Japanese figurines all over the house. A box of chocolate covered cherries, the good kind, not the crappy ones. The coffee table that he restained with remotes lined up right in a row. The perfectly stacked pile of newspapers. The bowl of jelly beans that always sat on the bowl of jelly beans. And let's not forget about the pooping cow. <laughs> Gumby. Of course. Of course. The insulated thermal <laughs> O2V mug. That and that awesome green color that always carried his watered down Pepsi because he could never drink it all. A box of thin mints. Little price chopper brand. <laughs> I hear him laughing at me. He's back there. <laughs> a collection of neatly piled magazines of useless crap and weapons. His famous sweatband that he made from an old pair of sweatpants that he would wear on his head just to embarrass his kid. I think it was green or blue. Yep. And who remembers Dirty Harry and how he would sleep on top of the curtains on Park Ave? His bong that he tried to hide underneath the see-through coffee table from his kids. And remember, kids, if you're going to smoke weed, smoke it with him, because he's got better stuff. His orange shag carpeted van, Bullwinkle. The black truck that shifter would pull out of the floor while you would be driving it. Chain. Chain. His collection of Memorex movies that he taped from TV. And who remembered Flash, the Wonder Cat, who had passed, who lived past his nine lives and then some? 
And don't forget when you order pizza, it had to be supreme with extra cheese. Well done, because you can't get pizza with just cheese. <laughs> the Jimi Hendrix t-shirt that he knows JJ has somewhere in his mess of a room. Sunday mornings with Dave, followed by the laundromat that was always followed by a trip of Price Chopper with Shane pushing Shannon through a cart through the produce, produce dissection. <laughs> His oh shit canoe shirt, his flannel lined denim shirt, period, enough said. His Triumph motorcycle, watching Bruce Lee movies that he knew by heart. After all, he did name his daughter Shannon Lee. <laughs> and thank you, Dad, for bringing Wanda into our lives. And all those, and all those times you would give her a hard time just because you could. We know you loved her dearly. <laughs> His OCD, his OCD behaviors that your kids rebelled against. And so took on. His long discussions about life in general and how he knew everybody, done everything, and been everywhere, and got the t-shirt. And everyone knows Shannon will always be his favorite because after all, she did get the braces. Sorry, Shane. <laughs> Two words, Tinker Toys. <laughs> and how he always stayed calm and collected, however you always knew when he was mad or upset with you. His Green Street apartment that you could see your breath inside the apartment in the winter. <laughs> the new driveway he laid at the new house, block by block. And never ask Dad when any of his kids kids were born or to remember any important dates, but you know he will always have a story why you can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Dad, oh, and, and this family puts the fun in dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, to Dad, put your Bernie glasses on and enjoy your trip. And what a long, strange trip it's been. So take that stairway to heaven. And look down upon us and know you touch so many lives and that you will be in our hearts and lives forever. So smoke them if you got them. <laughs> Love you, Jimmy. You will always be my dad. And I know he put it there on purpose. Yeah. He found it. You he might have it was this morning. morning. It was this morning. Okay. I'm going to have him drop me off. Wanda found it. Oh, Wanda found it. She found it in one of Jim's drawers this morning. You don't know. Uh, laying on top and we'll figure maybe he wanted it either read or known about. It is the poem to those I love. When I am gone, just release me. Let me go so I can move into my afterglow. You mustn't tie me down with your tears. Let's be happy that we had so many years. I gave you my love. You can only guess how much you gave me in happiness. I thank you for the love you each have shown, but now it's time I traveled on alone. So grieve for me a while, if grieve you must, then let your grief be comforted with trust. It's only for a while that we must part, so bless the memories within your heart. And then, when you must come this way alone, I will greet you with a smile and a welcome home. 
Awesome. I'm going to take Robin over to her. You want to put this one? She needs to. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.